What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon and today I'm going to kind of share my story of why I got into radiology. And if you are someone that is possibly looking at getting in this career as well, um, we can see if this video might resonate with you at all. Uh, so with that said, let's get started. Coming right out of high school, how are we supposed to know what we want to do with the rest of our life? Um, that is a big, big decision and something that I had a real hard time um, trying to figure out because it, how are you supposed to know what you want to do with the rest of your life at such a young age? I definitely didn't. And that's why I kind of struggled the first couple of years of college because I cannot figure out the right path that I wanted to take. And I ended up changing my major multiple times and I could just not land on something that I thought that I could do for the next 30, 40 years. So for my first semester in college, I pretty much just took all of gen ed classes. I remember talking to a guidance counselor and they said, yeah, if you don't have a major declared yet or anything, just take a lot of these core classes and they'll be able to, you'll be able to use them and branch out once you do decide on whatever major that is. Um, so I remember doing that and I remember actually trying to, I, like I took college serious as much as I wanted to enjoy the college experience and you're being out on your own and that sort. I also took it serious because it it's a lot of money. And if you're going to college, you should obviously take it serious too. But um, I remember talking with people in different majors, talking with people in different professions and being just asking questions, asking questions after questions. Do you like what you do? What exactly do you do? What's the nitty, nitty gritty of it? What is something that would help me make a decision if that's the right path or not. So I remember just talking to a lot of different people in different fields. And um, because of that, I would be like, oh yeah, I think this is great. And then I would start a major and a couple weeks later or a month later or a semester later, I'd be like, you know what, not for me. I want to do something else. And I think this is a start of where my ADD kind of came from because I would be all in on something be like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And then once the once you start the project, I'm ready to do another project. I'm like, no, no, not for me. Let's go this route. I just talked to someone in law enforcement and they do this and that, whatever. Let's go criminal justice. So I was just all over the place and kept going back and forth. And this was not a smart, not a great way um, once you're in college, paying a lot of money for classes to try to figure things out. You hope to be intrigued or interested by something but I just cannot find what that was. And I had such a hard time with that. Um, so one day I was playing intramural, intramural basketball um, and I remember going up for a rebound or so, came down real hard on my ankle and went to the ER afterwards. And I remember um, seeing the technologist take my x-rays and I was like, huh, that's pretty interesting. I That's, that's kind of a cool thing that they're doing. Um, let me ask some questions. So I remember talking to the tech and she's like, yeah, I really like my job. I've been doing it for a few years. Um, it's a, we get to be all over the hospital. And she said that she actually graduated from the college that I was at since that was on campus. And she said it was a two year degree. And I was like, oh, okay. This kind of hits a lot of boxes. You're helping people. It seems like a pretty interesting career path. And it's only a two year degree as well. I feel like I already took a lot of the core classes such as anatomy and physiology and all that sort of thing, um, your math. And I was like, maybe, maybe I could get into something in this career, in this field of radiology. So it sparked my interest. It intrigued me and I made sure to ask questions, but it wasn't the experience that like tipped me over to be like, yes, I want to do x-ray. Yes, this is for me. Um, fast forward a semester or two down the road. Um, I find out my dad has cancer and he starts going to radiation therapy sessions uh, to help to help reduce the tumor that he had, uh, the cancer. And I just remember him saying how healing the radiation therapists and the staff were. Just the whole team was just, they were incredible, incredible, because that's, that's a really hard time you're going through. You find out you have a cancer diagnosis and you need to take immediate action to get rid of it. And that's just a scary thing. It starts taking a huge toll on your body, it takes a toll on your mind. It takes a toll on your, your phys physical body. And I remember that was really tough on my dad, but 
I just remember him saying the therapist, he would, the radiation therapist that he would see each treatment, they were just so positive and so comforting and so supportive and just so healing that he would go in there just being down, but he would leave feeling better, even though the radiation therapy is taking a toll on your physical body. He would talk about how mentally he just felt better coming out of there and how much of a role the radiation therapist played um, and just helping him just go another day and keep fighting and have a positive attitude because I truly feel like you need to have a positive attitude when you're going through something like that. If your attitude and your mentality is down as well as your physical body getting knocked down with the cancer and the, um, uh, the harsh radiation treatment, that is just a recipe for disaster. It, I feel like it just will take down your immune system and things will just get worse. So when your physical body is taking that brunt, mentally, you got to have that spirit and you got to be positive. And that's what that team helped him so much because he was depressed for a bit. And each treatment he went to, they just said they were just so supportive. And that was, that just sat with me so hard. I was like, oh my gosh, like I, want to be part of a team that truly is helping people in their hardest times because they just made such a difference on his mentality and how he's feeling. And that was just incredible to me. So that really sparked my interest into looking into how do you become a radiation therapist? And as I was Googling and doing research, oh, most people are x-ray techs before they become radiation therapists. I just had, I just talked to the x-ray technologist a few months ago or so when i broke my ankle. And so I could do that and then become a radiation therapist. Super interesting. Um, and I mean, I remember, I think there were like bachelor degrees for radiation therapy that you could just go straight through. But um, I read a very normal or a very common career path was to do your two years of x-ray and then do a one year certificate program as a therapist. And now you are credentialed in x-ray and radiation therapy. So I was like, okay, that's that's it that's me i want to help people i want to get in this profession i i want to do it i the way it just helped my dad i want to be there i want to be like that for other people um i've always wanted to help people i just didn't know i wanted to make kind of like a career out of it or career in medicine so like i said i did my research um all the just everything that involved radiology there's a lot of pros that um that I read and that I saw and I made a pros and cons list and it was just it seemed like a really good degree uh, it's good stability job security um the pay is good for two-year degree and if you became a radiation therapist your pay bumped up even more um it was a job that is it's marketable and it um, has many different modalities such as ct mr ir cath lab um, ultrasound so many different areas that you can go into like once you get bored with one modality and you get little um, pay bumps with that as well so i just with my add just wanted to do everything i was like this this is a path for me so those two things were major reasons why i got into radiology but the biggest thing being the effect that it had on my dad when he went through his radiation therapy sessions so from then on i remember talking to my guidance counselor and i was like get me on the quickest path to getting me to x-ray school and that's it that's me i'm excited to do this it seems like something that's super interesting and i just seem like it would be a very fulfilling job where i would be helping a lot of people so that is how i got into radiology and it's interesting how life works in that sort of sense like i never went to school to just become an x-ray tech i was bouncing around many different career paths and talking to so many different people, but it took me busting my ankle and it took my dad having um, cancer to kind of open my eyes that there are other jobs like that. And it's just, that's how life works. And it's so interesting because you don't really, like you hear, you know what an x-ray tech is? X-ray tech is, they take x-rays obviously, but it's not like, what is the school for? You don't really the, these type of jobs don't come to your career fair and people don't really know about them. When it comes to medical, it's like become a doctor, become a nurse, that sort of thing. You're not really thinking like you don't really hear about allied health and that sort. And like I said, when I was in middle school, high school, I don't 
an x-ray tech never came and said, oh, go into this, go into that. And you don't really, you kind of forget jobs like that exist until they're needed, until you hurt yourself and that's the service you need. And you're like, oh, interesting. This would be kind of a cool career path to go. I never thought about this because when you go to college, you're still trying to figure things out. And a lot of people are just doing like going into business, like one of the most common things or going to what whatever career path, criminal justice, business, or becoming a nurse, medical, whatever. But there's so many other career paths that just are in between those lines that you don't really see because everyone is just doing the basic kind of general paths. And then coming out of school with a ton of competition, trying to find their first job. And a lot of first jobs are super low paying because you don't have experience and you're fighting for a job six months for the first six months out of school. And that's really hard, especially once your loans start um, accruing interest and all that, and you got to start paying them back. And x-ray wise, especially a lot of, um, a lot of careers in the medical field, there's just a shortage and you can come right out of school with a job like this, making pretty good money. And that was also uh, like something that I never really thought about. Um, and when I, I remember reading that and researching it too, like there's there's definitely a need for a lot of um, a lot of careers in medical, a lot of specialties. And when I was when I was doing X-ray, when I came when I when I sorry when I graduated X-ray, I, I had a job before I even graduated. I had a job lined up. I was actually working as a student tech before I even graduated. So I already had a job lined up when a lot of these other careers. You're coming out of school you're fighting for a job when i had one lined up and now these days new grads are coming out and getting offered and they're having um can't even speak now their uh hospitals are offering these five ten thousand dollar um sign-on bonuses for one a one-year contract or a two-year contract or so which is like unheard of and obviously the economy changes and markets fluctuate and whatnot but there has been a need for um, medical, for x-rays, for nurses for a long time. So it's a great career path to just kind of hit the ground running. Once you graduate, there's jobs. There's jobs available, a hospital, a clinic, outpatient setting, whatever the case would be. And you just hit the ground running and start making money. So that's also just something that's super interesting. And that's just, again, kind of going back to it because I get so distracted, obviously, <laughs> my ADD. But um yeah, I don't even know what I was saying now. Sorry. Okay, so back what I was saying. Sorry. Life just works in funny ways. I thought I was going five different career paths before I landed on this. And I'm so glad I did because it's taken me to places that I never imagined. So um, if you are someone that is looking into radiology, I hope this video helps you. I always think it is just so important to talk to people that so they can share their experiences because you can look everything up online and you can talk to guidance counselors but they're not the ones who are in the profession they're not the ones dealing with the dirty work every day they're not the ones who know exactly how it's going to be and when you actually talk to someone that shares their experiences that gives you more value than anything so i hope this video provided some value and um, if you guys have any questions or comments just leave them down uh, down below and i'll do my best to get back to you but with that said take care have a good one talk to you next time see ya